Hi friends, today we're going to be reading Arthur's Pet Business by Mark Brown. We're also going to be talking about things that good readers do. Good readers ask questions before reading, during reading, and after reading. They ask questions about the story, they predict what the story will be about, and they connect with the story while reading it. So before we get started, let's look at some of the things that we can talk about before reading. Before reading. I think this story, why do you think this book was written? What do I already know about this topic? And what do you think the author wants to share with this story? So I'm going to answer one of these questions, but first I'm going to look at the front cover of this book. I see Arthur, and it looks like he has a bunch of pets. Since the title is called Arthur's Pet Business, I think it's going to have something to do with his pets. And maybe him creating a business watching other people's pets. So I'm going to answer the question, I think this story, and I'm going to finish the sentence. I think this story is about Arthur creating his own pet business and watching other people's pets. So I'm going to color this pumpkin since this is the one I chose, and I answered the question. Let's start reading and then we'll pause to answer one of our during questions. Arthur's Pet Business by Mark Brown. We've been looking at puppies for months, said DW. When are you going to ask mom and dad if you can have one? I'm waiting for just the right moment, said Arthur. So promise not to say anything. That night at dinner, father asked, What's new? Arthur wants a puppy, said D.W. Blabbermouth, said Arthur. A puppy is a big responsibility, said Father. I can take care of it, said Arthur. Well, think about it, Mother said. That means no, explained D.W. After dinner, Mother and Father did the dishes. Can you hear what they're saying, asked Arthur. They're worried about the new carpet, whispered D.W. Suddenly, the door opened. We've decided you may have a puppy if you can take care of it, said Father. Wow, said Arthur. But, said Mother, first you need to show us you're responsible. How will I ever prove I'm responsible, asked Arthur. The best way I know is to get a job, said D.W. Then you can pay back the $7 you owe me. Ka-ching, went her cash register. Arthur what, wondered what kind of job he could do. You could work for my dad at the bank, said Muffy. He needs some new tellers. If I were you, I'd get a job at Joe's Junkyard crushing old cars, offered Binky Barnes. Do something that you like, said Francine. That gave Arthur an idea. I'll take care of other people's pets, said Arthur. Then mom and dad will know I can take care of my own. Arthur and Francine put up signs to advertise his new business. His family helped too. Arthur waited and waited. Then, just before bedtime, the phone rang. Hello, he said. Arthur's pet business. How may I help you? Yes? No? When? Where? Great, said Arthur. Hooray, I'm going to watch Mrs. Wood's dog while she's on vacation and I'll earn $10. Oh no, said DW, not nasty little perky. Isn't that the dog the mailman calls Jaws? Asked father. That's perky, said DW. The next morning, Arthur ran all the way to Mrs. Wood's house. Right on time, said Mrs. Wood. Grrr growled Perky. She hasn't been herself lately, said Mrs. Wood. I'm worried. I'll take good care of her, said Arthur. We'll be best of friends. Grrr, growled Perky. Here's her schedule and a list of things she doesn't like, said Mrs. Wood. I'll see you next Sunday. Arthur did his best to make Perky feel at home. Every day he brushed her. He tried to fix her favorite foods. 
They took lots of long walks, day and night. Perky made sure they had the whole sidewalk to themselves. You look exhausted, said Mother. Maybe taking care of a dog is too much work. Any dog I get will be easier than Perky, said Arthur. Word of Arthur's pet business got around. On Monday, the McMillans asked Arthur to watch their canary, Sunny. On Tuesday, Prunella gave Arthur her ant farm. On Wednesday, the brain asked Arthur to take care of his frogs while he went on vacation. Best of all, on Thursday, the amazing Larry asked Arthur to keep cuddles, his trained boa constrictor. Animals were everywhere until Mother put her foot down. I want all these animals in the basement now, she ordered. Let's pause to look at our during reading questions. What connection can I make with this story? Who are the characters? Retell what has happened so far. I like the part about I'm going to choose to retell what has happened so far. So I'm going to color this pumpkin. So far in the story, Arthur has decided that he wants to get a dog. But in order to get a dog, his parents want him to prove that he's responsible. So he decided to start his own pet business where he takes care of other people's pets. But it seems so far that it's getting a little out of control. So we're going to have to see what happens to Arthur. By bedtime, all the pets were downstairs, all except Perky. Perky slept in Arthur's room. On Saturday, Buster asked Arthur to go to the movies. I can't, said Arthur. When I finish cleaning these cages, it will be feeding time. And anyway, it's Perky's last night with me and she seems sick. I don't want to leave her. Well, I bet you're happy today, said DW the next morning. You get rid of Perky and collect $10. I can't believe it, said Arthur, but I'm gonna miss Perky. Arthur, Mrs. Wood just called to say she's on her way over, said Mother. Now wait here, Perky, ordered Arthur. I'll go and get your leash. When Arthur went back into the kitchen, Perky was gone. Here, Perky, Perky, called Arthur, but Perky didn't come. She's not in the basement, called, bar, called Father. She's not in the backyard, said D.W. She's lost, said Arthur. Uh-oh, said D.W., you're in big trouble. Arthur, Mrs. Wood is here, called Mother. Hi, Mrs. Wood, said D.W., guess what? Arthur lost Perky. My poor little darling is lost, asked Mrs. Wood. Don't worry, said Father, Arthur is looking for her right now. Suddenly, they heard a bark. Everybody, come quick, called Arthur. Look, said Arthur, Perky had puppies. No wonder she's been acting so strange, said Mrs. Wood. You've done a wonderful job taking care of Perky when she needed a friend the most. How can I ever thank you? A reward might be nice, suggested D.W. Shush, said Mother. Here's the money I owe you, said Mrs. Wood. And how would you like to keep one of Perky's puppies as a special thank you? I'd love to, said Arthur, if I'm allowed. Of course, said Mother, you earned it. Wow, said Arthur, $10 and my very own puppy. I can't believe it. Neither can I, said D.W. Now you can finally pay back my $7. Ka-ching, went her cash register. The end. So now let's look at our end of story, our after reading questions. What was the problem in the story? Did the story end the way you expected? Why or why not? Retell the ending of the story. Would you read this again? Why or why not? I'm going to pick, would you read, would you read the story again? Why or why not? I definitely would read the story again because I like that Arthur solved his problem and he worked hard to earn a puppy by showing responsibility. Today, we talked about 
questions that we read before, during, and after. Good readers ask questions as they read so that they can remember what they're reading about and so they can connect with the story. We're going to be practicing that this week. Great job today.